Welcome to my week one recap of Sober October. I'm not just wanting to go alcohol free this month. I've also decided to take on some other challenges. Namely, I want to be consistent with my strength training, which means going to the gym five days a week. I want to add some mobility to every one of those sessions. I want to walk at least 10,000 steps a day with my weighted vest. And I want to do some micro needling and red light, red light therapy for my face to see if I can make some improvements in the texture, the elasticity, and the fine lines and wrinkles. So let's dive right into those results. First things first, yes, I was alcohol free. Now, I have to admit, it wasn't super easy. During the week was okay. It was the weekend because on the weekends, my partner and I, you know, we just like to relax with a beer, some wine, chat about our week, that kind of thing. So while he had a beer, um, I decided to have my Corona alcohol free, which actually I find tastes very good. I add a little bit of lime to it. I find it tastes just, I feel like I'm having a real Corona. Then I put, I take my wine glass and I pour my bubbly, whatever bubbly I'm drinking into it. And then I just feel like I'm having more of a grown up drink. It's these little things sometimes that we do to just make, you know, if you're undertaking a difficult challenge or something different, these little things just help make it easier. Now, I have to admit that the first two, two to three nights, I think, sleeping was not great. Maybe even four of the nights. I, I would fall asleep okay, but then it seemed like I was waking up every couple of hours and it was difficult to get back to sleep. But when I woke up in the morning, I didn't feel tired. Like I still actually felt very energized throughout the whole day. But as the week went on, I did find that my sleep was improving. I, I still wake up once or twice in the night, but I'm able to fall back um, to sleep quite easily. And as I mentioned, my energy, I had great energy, like for all of my workouts, for um, everything that I wanted to do, just even doing little things around the house, I just felt really energized, which was great. Also, my blood pressure, which I know if I'm, you know, having some wine and what have you, it tends to creep up. So that actually went back down to normal, which actually is a very good thing. And, you know, the energy, I really did notice it in my strength training sessions. I think I went up on pretty much all of my weights this week. And I'll just show a little video here. I wanted to see if I could do a shoulder press with 30 pound dumbbells. And as you can see, it was a struggle getting it up, but I did manage to do six reps and I haven't been able to do this in a very long time. So I was very, very pleased that I was able to do it. Now, maybe my form's not that great. And if you have any tips for me on that, I'd love to hear it from you in the comments. So with the strength training, I, um, I did back and biceps twice. I did chest, triceps and shoulders twice. And I did legs once. I'm doing a fair bit of, you know, the walking and the running. So I figured just one day a week for my legs was probably going to be okay. And then at the end of every uh, strength training session, I added my mobility. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'll put a link to that, like the first video about Sober October. I'm talking about being able to do what is called the old man um, uh, balancing thing, the old man moves, I guess. <laughs> for, I don't like it. I don't like called old man. I think it's a any person balancing thing that we, everybody ought to be doing. So I'm practicing my balance, my mobility. I'm still wobbly when it comes to, you know, standing on one foot or doing a one leg deadlift, but I am seeing a little bit of improvement. So I'll be curious to see at the end of the month, how much I've improved. When it comes to wearing my weighted vest, 
I am going to do a video on the weighted vest and why I'm, you know, trying it out, but it, it does weigh 20 pounds. I'm pretty much used to the weight. I, it feels comfortable on me. And most days I'm getting in the 10,000 steps. Now, originally I was going to do like seven in the morning and then three at night. And I haven't necessarily done that. I've done most of it has been 10,000 continuous. Um, so about an hour and a half with my vest, except on Friday, because Friday is my long run day. And this past week I went up to the Gatineau Park, which, which is very hilly. And I did a 17 kilometer run in the park now on the road, but nonetheless, there's a lot of longer hills, a lot of downs. So I didn't think I could manage a 10,000 step walk with my vest, but I did 4,000 steps. So I consider that all a win-win. And one of the things too that I want to see with the vest is, you know, adding this extra weight. Is it going to help me with my running? Will it make me faster? Will I feel stronger when I run my marathon? It'll be interesting to see how it goes. So far, um, I'm not so sure that I feel that I'm faster, but I do feel I'm stronger because this was the first time that I ran hills in all my training. I haven't run any hills. Every time I came to a hill, like I'm walking that. And like I say, some of these hills, you know, like they're a kilometer, a kilometer and a half long. That's a long hill and I managed it. So that vest just might be helping me with my strength. Then I've been doing the micro needling and the uh, red light mask therapy. Now I'm alternating days when I do this and um, I'm not going to, there's no results that you can see after a week. But I'll be curious to see after a month, will there be any results? And again, it's all about consistency. Everything, everything that we're doing, you're only going to get better at what it is that you want to achieve if you're consistent with it. And that's the only way you're going to get results. How are you doing with your challenges? Uh, have you, did you set uh, yourself up with some challenges for this month? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what it is that you're doing and how it's going. Now, this weekend, if you're Canadian, you know, it's Thanksgiving and it might, it's going to, it'll be a bit of a challenge, I believe, because I'm hosting Thanksgiving dinner. My family will be here, but I'm going to plan in advance. I'll have my alcohol-free beer. I'll have, you know, drinks, um, drinks that I want to have, different bubblies or different pops, that kind of thing. And I'll be prepared for that. And at the end of the day, it's really all about spending time with my family, enjoying good food, good company. And I think it'll be just fine. That's it for this week. I will see you next week when I do a week two recap. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye.